Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Chain Vinayak Goswami. In this video, we are going to take a look at the technique of traversing the hypergraph inside Maya scene. If you need to jump to a particular node to access its properties, how you can do it. With that, we would also learn the technique of reading and writing different attributes of different nodes inside Maya. For example, if you need to read width and height of a polyplane to plug them in inside a separate node, how you will be able to read those properties. If you need to modify subdivision width and height of a polyplane, how you can do it. So let's get started and start learning these techniques. So here I have opened new session of Maya and I will create a polyplane. And after creating a polyplane, I would set its properties or I would set its attributes. I would set its width to 10, height to 15, subdivision width to 20, and subdivision height to 25. After setting these properties, I will write some code. And initially, I would follow the same steps which we followed in the previous chapter. We will create a M selection list, we will create M object and M DAC path. And then we would request M selection list to give us dependency node of polyplane inside M object or M object type object and DAC path inside M DAC path type object. So let's get back to Maya and start writing some code. So let's get back to Maya and start writing some code. So here I am in script editor and I will import open Maya module Maya dot open Maya as open Maya. And I would also keep executing this command so that we can see their results. After importing open Maya module, I will create M selection list and I will name this variable as lowercase m uppercase s e l and it would be open maya dot m selection list type of object after that i would add my plane polyplane inside m selection list so i will get the name of polyplane from my outliner pplane1 I would execute that command as well so first step we created a selection list the second step is creating m object and m deck path I will call my m object type object as lowercase m uppercase o b j and it would be open maya dot m object let's create that after that create m deck path type object open maya dot m dag path Let's create that too. Okay. After that, we would request selection list to give us dependency node inside M object and deck path inside M deck path. Request dependency node deck path of the object okay and how we would request it m cell dot get depend node we need the dependency node of the zeroth object of m selection list and where do we need it we need it inside m object m obj in the similar way we need 
the DAC path, we will get that using function get DAC path, and we need the get we need the DAC path of zeroth object inside M DAC path. Okay, so we have gotten DAC path and dependency node, but we also want to verify it if we have gotten the correct path or not. So M DAG path dot full path name is a function to retrieve the full path name which is very clear by the function name so we will print that and it has given us the p plane one because this is the mesh which is present at the root of outliner so there is no parent of it so it has given us p plane one and that sounds right okay now, before we write our further code, we would understand a couple of terms in on our blackboard and then we will come back and write more code. So, one of the terms we un will understand here is MFN, which stands for Model Function Set. What is MFN or what is Function Set? As its name say, it's a it's a set of function. It's a class that takes a certain input and provides us ways of performing different operations. It it provides us the function to perform different operations. One more thing to remember here is. It's kind of a key and lock mechanism. Only a certain type of